What's up y'all, Jameson Redding here with the Road Trip Angler. And I wanted to share with you what I found success with while we were down in the Tampa area of Florida. Conditions were a little tough. We had wind coming in from the north that was blowing the tide out and making it difficult to fish where we wanted to fish. Wind is stupid. So we had to call an audible and hit some areas that had water and focus on areas that were going to continue to have water that would hold fish when they moved out from underneath those mangroves. And we knew that there were some deep pockets that would still hold those fish. And what we decided to do was target docks. There he is. We found a lot of snook hanging out under the docks and Dustin was absolutely amazing at skipping those baits underneath there. Nice little snook right here. On the docks. I wasn't as good, but in order to do what he was doing and really try to maximize what the pattern that he figured out, I chose to use my spinning rod. Sean, got him. My spinning rod that I used was actually set up on the Judge crankbait blank from Rain Shadow. It's the medium power, moderate fast action blank, which gives me enough backbone to get those hook sets, but allowed me to skip those baits really easily underneath the dock. And I like a more moderate fast action when I'm in a kayak, just because that I'm dealing with high sticking when I'm trying to land those fish, so forth and so on. I had that set up with 20 pound Seaguar Smackdown in the Stealth Gray and 20 pound Gold Label Seaguar Fluorocarbon Leader. I rigged that up with a quarter ounce jig head and a four inch paddlers. This is a Z-Man scented paddlers. I also threw the five inch quite a bit and caught fish on it and broke off on a really nice fish and even had a tarpon follow it all the way to the kayak. But Dustin was finding success on a 3.75 inch paddle tail. So I ended up going down to that four inch size. All right, bye bye little buddy. If I had to do over, I would also consider throwing the four inch diesel minnow in that pearl white. For whatever reason, we were catching all of our fish on that lighter color, the pearl, the white, and even pink. So I would try probably throwing the four inch or even just the minnows, which is the little bit smaller version of this bait. The diesel minnows is a four inch. It also comes in five and seven, but I would have tried probably the four inch and even the smaller pattern if I had to do over. But I did find some success on that four inch paddlers, which is a very subtle bait. You could skip this under the dock and work it back kind of slow, being erratic, fast, and get that reaction strike. That was primarily what I found success on and what Dustin was finding success on down there in Tampa. There he is right here. The only other bait that I really found success on while we were down in Florida was the Super Spook Junior in bone color. And this is the saltwater version and actually has the feather on the back hook as well. And you can see that it got hit so hard that it actually knocked the paint off when those jacks were hitting it. Now I only caught one jack on this bait, but I had it blown up on several times. And it's always a go-to bait when I'm in salt water. I also use this quite a bit in fresh water as well. And I had some success on it on a trip where we were river fishing on the same setup. And that was set up on a bait caster, which was a Shimano Cronarch G, so I can fish salt or fresh with that reel. Had 30 pound Seaguar Smackdown in the high viz color with the gold label 20 pound fluorocarbon leader. Fish on. And that is what we found success on while we were down in Tampa fishing those creeks and around those docks. Dustin was throwing that pink 3.75 paddle tail and a white 3.75 inch paddle tail on a jig head. I was throwing those four and five inch paddlers on a jig head. Both of us were using fluorocarbon leader and braid and skipping those baits underneath those docks as far as you could. And the more you could get it under there and target those different pylons underneath the dock, the more successful you were. For more information, including tips and tricks, be sure to subscribe to our channel, Road Trip Angler on YouTube. And as always, thanks for watching. Road Trip Angler would like to thank our global partners for helping support the mission to get people outside and on the water.